Uh, here we go. Never thought this is the way that this project would end up coming to a close. I've been through a lot, you guys. I've been through a lot. So forever ago, I teased to you guys that magnetic lock that I was working on. Um, it's been a thorn in my side ever since, because I've had no idea what to do with it. Not a clue. Because it might just be the holy grail of unpickable locks. This one might actually be it. It's just, it has problems. It has a lot of problems. And I just can't take the risk of patenting it. So I'm just going to shove it out into the world. And that's what this is. So here we go. All right, are you guys ready to see the inside of the Holy Grail? Here we go. So upstairs is just a simple ball bearing locking mechanism, exactly what you're used to, um, just with a very loose definition of ball bearing because it's 3D printed. Um, the core is where all the magic is at. Um, so um, it is controlled by four sidebars that retract when all of the little gates inside are set correctly. And the core has all of these little gates with a little magnet on them. And each of them has a cut in them, one that's lower and one that's higher to serve as a false gate. Um, and we'll stick the key in here, out of the way. And so each of these little gates is either attracted to the key or repelled from the key, and that is what codes each of the little bits. Um, and that's basically all there is to it. Yeah. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. It's a pretty simple design. Just took me forever to actually figure everything out, to put it together and to figure out all of the problems. But I'm glad that it ended up becoming what it became. But, like I said, I've been through a lot. I've come within an inch of my own life. And I just don't care to make money off of this. I really don't. So, I'm going to send this to Lock Noob for him to review. Because um, I think he'll do a great job of showcasing this lock showing it off to the world. Um, I would have sent it to lockpicking lawyer, but it would disappear and no one would ever see it ever again. He would add it to his collection. He would never show it off because there's nothing he could do. This would be the one lock that lockpicking lawyer would never be able to get into. He would never be able to pick it open. He would never find an exploit for this lock. And if he found a lock that he had no choice but to say that about, it would be a ridiculously strong endorsement. <laughs> it, it's just not something he would risk doing. Not a chance. No, I, if I send that lock to him... It's gone. We would never see it again. But Lock Noob, I know he'll show it off, and he'll do a fantastic job of showing it off. So expect this in your post. It's coming your way. And for everyone else, thank you so much for watching. Take care.
Have a good one.